Uh, today is uh, Friday, April the 21st. The time right now is 11.24 in the morning. And uh, let's do a bit of a recap on what happened overnight on uh, in New York. Uh, basically, equity market has been very, very quiet since uh, last Friday's high uh, in the Dow Jones. The Dow Jones high so far for uh, the past one and a half month is 34,082.94. And throughout this entire week, uh, we have seen market basically doing practically nothing okay uh prices has been drifting and uh, last night we have the uh, uh we have uh, we saw tesla shares actually went down by nine percent so that actually uh put a dampener on equity markets especially the s p 500 and the uh the nasdaq itself so we can see that dow jones itself do not have a new high for the week and uh, prices may actually drift maybe even lower as people who are, have been long all this one may be taking profit and uh, the nearby support is somewhere around the 30 the 33,275 levels and uh, this is the immediate levels to watch out for okay whether or not the market can actually attempt a new high i think we cannot rule out the possibility but if it does then the key point to watch out will be 34,712 and even if we have a break here we also want to see whether it can close above this level if it cannot close above this level and come back down again that will be a key reversal okay do watch out for those possibilities here in the s p 500 we have a high for the week on tuesday at 4169.5 but again since then the market has been drifting <coughs> sorry incidentally <coughs> Uh, where the high is, uh, we can say that this is within a price bracket in which I think the market is vulnerable to the sell side. Uh, this bracket is 4,140 to 4,195 uh, 4, levels. And uh, the high at 4,169.5 is actually captured within this bracket of prices. And I was not surprised that prices actually ease back. Near term support is somewhere probably around 4,070 uh, 4, levels. And again, uh, there's no saying that it, it's going to go all the way down. I think they may be one more push higher to challenge 4,195 again if it breach no big deal uh what i want to see is that whether it can close above this level okay if it cannot and come back down again that again is what i say a key reversal in the nikkei one uh in the nasdaq 100 we actually have a high trader on tuesday at uh at 13,196 but it was not able to take out the last Tuesday high at 13,204. So basically we have a double top here. So if the price cannot attempt higher, it will probably drift lower. Nearby support is probably around 12,520 levels. So again, we have to see how things behave if even when the market drifts to these levels, okay? Over in Asia, we can see that Nikkei 225 is uh, managed to actually uh, register a marginal high for the year at 28,778.4, which is marginally higher compared to the March 9th high at 28,734.8. Now, what happened here is very interesting. On a four hours time frame in which this chart is, you can see the market actually went up to a high took out the high here and then reverse downwards. Now this is what we call a key reversal, okay? Uh, if the market closes somewhere around risk levels and not able to go back up above 28,735, then that will be a key reversal in my opinion. I have already gone short. I have never gone short on any K for quite some time. Now this is the first short trade I'm taking, which is I think to be a very low risk trade because I'm putting my stop just above 29,100 and uh, I'm going to take uh, my chance with the outlook with the possibility that I can actually come back down to test the 27,000 levels. Okay, we will have to see whether this pans out, but I think this is a very, very good low risk, high reward trade set up here. Okay, over in the Hang Seng, price went up to a high of 20,864.7 on Monday, and that was a high which he never come back and re revisit for the rest of the week. So this uh today being the last day of the trading week we are there is no sign that market is going to go back up again and incidentally this level here is within the bracket of prices which i believe to be vulnerable to the sell side and uh, this bracket is 20,800 to 21,100 levels so we can see prices starting to drift the nearby support is probably around 1 19,886 levels okay so we'll see whether market have any reaction here okay over in mainland China, we also see something very similar. Uh, we have a high traded at 4,116, uh, 4,000. 
169.45, uh, which is on Tuesday itself, prices has been backpedaling since. Nearby support is probably around 4060 levels. Again, we want to see whether it can actually hold. Uh, in the energy market, we can see crude oil prices continue to slide. Okay, and the high traded at $83.49 has seen quite a fair bit of a pullback. Essentially, what I'm uh, 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 thinking is that the market is trying to fill up this gap here. Remember three weeks ago, OPEC Plus announced a uh, production cut over a Sunday and the market reacted on Monday by gapping higher. And I think market is coming back down to cover this gap here. And if it completely covers the gap, there's still a possibility market may actually drift back to $75.70 before it fills up this gap here. But from here go, uh, going forwards, I still believe that it is lower to buy. I've already committed to buy and I and I already bought. And uh, any price that's go below, I will still continue to buy uh, because I think this entire rally here from $64.33 to $83.50 is by no means over. I think the market will rally one more time. So I'm basically quite bullish on crude oil itself. Okay, over in uh, the... Uh, gold market you can see the gold market is not doing very very much of late since pulling back down from two thousand forty eight dollars and eighty cents market hit a low of one thousand nine hundred and sixty nine dollars and thirty cents before rebounding to yesterday's high of twin two thousand twelve dollars and forty cents i believe this market may actually unfold in a three wave pullback here uh targeting one thousand nine hundred thirty two dollars and ninety cents uh, to as low as $1,914. Of course, this will be a bit too extreme. First of all, it will probably find some kind of support at the uh, point of point of uh the point of origin. Uh, this is from here that $1,950 that the market actually uh searched all the way to $2,048.80. So maybe the market is coming back here. The first stop will be to see whether you can get any reaction at the point of origin of this move here at $1,950. If it cannot hold, then obviously this bracket of prices between $1,915 to $1,933 becomes uh, uh more likely to be to happen but basically over the long term gold is a long term buy i'm still very bullish currently i have no position okay over in the silver we are also seeing the possibility of a three wave pullback and if this is the case a high trader is 26 dollars and nine cents and if you can see a uh, a symmetrical pullback 100 percent that means the market could be targeting somewhere anywhere between 23 dollars and 70 cents to $24.05. So do watch out for this possibility here. Over in the dollar index, we can see dollar index uh, is going into a sideways pattern. Uh, the rebound from 142 to 101.94 uh, remains very much uh, in play. I believe this rebound is no, uh, it's not over yet. And if we get a slight pullback to somewhere around 101, even to 101.20, that could be an area of interest in which I want to buy some more. Uh, I'm already long. I just want to buy some more. And I think the market may actually extend higher with the bare minimum target at 102.45. Okay. So this is where I think the market may actually head to. Now, as the dollar goes up, uh, we can also expect uh, the major currencies to pull back. We have seen sterling pick out at 125.45 to a low of 135.50. And we have a bit of a rebound so far. The high trader in this rebound is 124.75 thereabout. And uh, it's a little bit difficult to call, but maybe it will also do a three-way pullback targeting uh, somewhere between uh, 122.35 to 122.80 levels. Okay, if this is actually where it wants to go. I think it's still a good buy uh, because the entire structure in the sterling chart is very different from the rest. I think it is basically still quite bullish, okay, technically speaking. Now, over in the euro itself, you can see euro uh, does not quite look like sterling, okay. Uh, the high trader is 110.75 before it pulls back to 109.90. And uh, this, we have a bit of a, a uh, rally so far the most recent rally which is yesterday okay saw the price went up to 109.90 okay which is uh, marginally higher than what we saw on wednesday so maybe i'll take out this level here and place this up okay so if the market can continue to go up a little bit uh, higher let's say marginally higher than last night's high that it will put it uh, into the bracket of prices which i think is going to be vulnerable to the sell side uh, we may see some selling interest re-emerge from this level and this level is 109.90 to 110 okay so i've already placed sell order here uh thinking that market will actually break this rising support line here and maybe even 
to first challenge the 108 levels and if this level cannot hold uh uh maybe the pump the uh this 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 currency payment may actually go back and retest the 105 levels okay so there's a bit of a very very uh, uh superior risk reward here okay over in the Aussie market, we saw a overnight rebound in the three wave pattern to 0 0.6770 before it pick up. Currently, it is pulling back very sharply. And uh, because this is an equality move, market came back here to 06770 and then come back down. So this could be setting the stage for the market to extend lower to test the 06565 levels. Okay. Over in dollar yen, uh, dollar yen has managed to go up to 135.14, allowing me to exit my original long position at 132.20. And I've already gone short and I'm hoping the market can actually do one more rally up here uh, to maybe to test the 135.40 to the 135.70 levels to give me another chance to add to my short because I am uh, uh, still pretty much uh, looking for uh, the dollar yen to continue downwards to take out the 129.60 levels. Over in dollar cat, we can see dollar cat is currently uh, trading to a high of 135 even this morning as we are speaking. And this is a bracket of prices which I think we put it into a situation in which selling interest may re-emerge. So far, there's no evidence, but if we see a reversal from here onwards within this bracket of prices between 134.80 to 135, I think that will put the market in a position where it may slack, uh, it may actually slide lower to test the 133.80 to 134 levels. Now, this market here has risen so much but i think this rebound is no it's not over yet we may be seeing a larger degree corrective rally here but first it will have to pull back first once it pull back into this breakout of prices then i would like to stay long on dollar cac and uh, see whether you can take out the 135.50 levels okay now in bitcoin itself bitcoin has actually continued to slide from the high of 31,035 and this is unfolding in a very neat three way although it has marginally taken up my ideal bracket in which i think it can hold because the market actually tested the 28,000 levels and currently the low so far is 28,005 dollars okay so uh if this level do not continue to be breached and we don't have an acceleration to the downside i think the bottom could be in for bitcoin and it is so then uh I have already gone long in Bitcoin, hoping that the market will challenge the 31,000 one more time to maybe 33,000. So I think this is laying the stage for something quite explosive going forward. In the meantime, this is all I have for you. And uh, for those Muslim out there, I'd like to wish you guys a happy holiday. Today is uh, the uh, end of the fasting uh, uh, month and they are celebrating uh, the new year. Okay, so in the meantime, this is all I have for you. Take care and I'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye.